Okay, today we're working on the Cameron XH42, and we've got the new mulcher in from diggersource.com. And so we've got our main two functioning lines, and then we've got a case drain return line. Um, our machine does not have that, so today we'll be installing the case drain line, which comes with the mulcher. We'll also be doing a case drain install on the XH26. Uh, we'll be putting a flail mower on the 26 and a mulcher on the 42. And also on the 42, we'll be installing the new three-way valves with quick couplers. So watch to the end, make sure you get it all down. And it's a, actually a fairly easy install. Hope this helps. Our plan is to run the case drain line comes with a, a fitting with the line and we'll be taking off the uh, lid here for the inlet and we'll put our fitting in there. Um, I'm not going to put it straight into the tank because I don't want to drain the fluid. I don't want metal shavings into here. This one's got the hydraulic tank on the side. It does have a plastic lid so that'll make that a little bit easier. Um, but getting our line into here and into the side will be a little bit more difficult. So. We are going to work on taking some floor panels off and we'll trace our line all the way back down just like the 42 and we'll have our coupling right here for our case drain line. So the case drain line will come with the fittings that you need. So this brass one here, um, we will drill through the lid. We'll put this on. It's got a, a nut here that we can tighten on. That'll stick up through the top of it. And then we've got our elbow here that will connect our case drain line. Okay, we've got our hose broke free on this side, that way we can pull our cap. And on the bottom of the cap, you're gonna see the screen filter there for the hydraulic tank. So we'll pull the whole thing out, we'll get ready to put our adapter there into the lid. Also be sure to cover up the top of your hydraulic tank so we don't get any debris down in our fluid. Okay, we've got our cap with filter out. Now we're going to drill a hole so we can mount our fitting in here for our case return. Okay, we got our lid and a vise here. We're gonna drill a hole. Um, the one thing to pay attention is that you've gotta be far enough inside, that way it'll actually go down in the tank. And you'll see a little witness line here from the seal. So we'll measure in. We might actually slightly break through this weld. So we gotta make sure we get our fitting far enough inlet. Okay, we've got our adapter in, and in order to get it in the right spot, that way it actually drains into the tank and doesn't hit the flange. Just for reference, I'm about 40 millimeters from the edge to center, if that helps you out. In the bottom side of our adapter, we've got our nut right there. You may need to grind some of that weld back, so that way you got clearance for the nut. Um, also, or if you don't want to grind and use the nut, you could drill and tap this. This is an M14 by 1.5. If you happen to have a drill and tap set, you can tap into this block instead. Otherwise, you'll be threading the nut on there and should be good to go as long as you're inside, as long as you're inside of the filter diameter. So, with our adapter in, we'll put our elbow on here. First, we'll go ahead and tighten all these down, get our hose back on. Okay, I will mention this plate is pretty hard. Um, if you don't have a drill press, then a cordless drill will work, um, but you'll want to start with a small drill bit and really step your way up in fine increments to get through it. Uh, it is pretty hard. So, um, we've got our adapter in here, we've got our hose clamped back in place. We're ready to put our elbow on and connect our hose. So the mulcher is going to come with a short lead here for the case drain. So we will plan on leaving the end of our line right here near where the valve is. And we'll end up putting our uh, quick couplers on the end to make this easier. And then basically we're just going to follow this line set here all the way back. 
Okay, we're getting our line ran back on the 42. We've got it under here. We've got it coming out here. We're ready to go into the side of our adapter. If you have trouble getting it through here, you may need to take the floor out, which is not too difficult. But with the floor out and the rubber up, you can get access into there to fish your line through. Okay, we've got our line ran up here now. Nice and neat. Tied into our elbow, going down into the tank. Fishes down through there. Comes out here, loops up. We'll take up our slack right here and coil this since this is a low area chance for impact. Okay, now we're jumping back to our XH26. So your line set will have two elbows on it. This is your fixed elbow. This side will go on the tank. This elbow will take out. This will be the boom side and we don't need that elbow. As far as process to get to this, you will need to take out the floor panel here. You'll need to take out this shroud piece that's right here. And here's your line. So this will be the fixed elbow that we're gonna have up here, ready to go into our lid. You'll start from this side. You'll push the loose end through from this way. It'll come down right here by your turn motor. And this definitely helps to have two people to fish this through. You'll feed it out here, and at that point you can follow your lines under the cap. And now we'll end up with our loose end. That's where we're going to take our elbow out. And we'll have our quick coupler here for the flail mower connection. Okay, with your cap on and your line up here, our elbow will go straight down in like this. So you want to go ahead and mark a spot. That way when you take this off to drill the hole and put it back on, your spot's where you need it to be. Okay, now we're back to our 26. So we've got a plastic lid cap on this one, which is uh, much easier than the 42. So we're gonna drill through that here in the center section. Obviously you wanna avoid the very center. Make sure your fitting is to the side of where your hose will come in. So you'll wanna put a mark right here while the lid is still tight on the tank before you take it off to drill it. If you're not familiar with drilling, um, you know, through plastics and steels, You'll want to get a good set of drill bits that you can start to hole, and then, especially on the plastic, these step drills or tapered drill bits work well. You can pick these up, and basically, the farther you go through, the bigger the hole gets, and you'll go until you match the size of the adapter uh, for it to fit through. Okay, on our 26, we've got all of our panels back on, we've got our lid tightened down, and we've got our new case drain line right into the top, nice and clean. Down here, we've got our new 3 8 coupler that we'll use for our case drain. And then we've got our line set here that will connect to the flail mower. Okay, and while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and install the new three-way diverter valve. So these are a very large uh, flow, the G1 half inlets. And they're gonna come with this plate. So it will mount on this plate like such two screws. The screws you can see do not line up with the standard bolts here. So what we can do is just use this as an adapter plate. We can drill two new holes. That's what we'll do. That way it mounts on there and then our valve mounts on here and we'll have a nice three-way setup. What we'll go ahead and do now is break all this free. So you got the hose fitting here and then this one right here is a G1 half to G1 half. And this one right here is a G1 half that'll go into our new block. And then this side is for the hose, which I think is actually uh, an M22. Okay, we've got our adapter plate on here now. Um, the spread on these two holes is 43 millimeters. And I just basically center the distance here. You will need to find some shorter screws. The original ones that were in the block will be too long. Uh, and these are eight millimeter screws. So find a couple laying around or grab a couple um, and even ones with the flange may help you out. That way you can drill the hole in here a little bit bigger to give you a little bit of slop. All right, now we'll bolt the, uh, the new block right on there. Okay, we've got our block bolted on. And whenever you get this valve set, you need to notice this little symbol right here. It sort of looks like an H. Um, that is for the left side. So if you're looking at the machine, it would be on the left side. And the one that looks more like a box will be on the right side. 
So here we're gonna put our main supply line into here. We're gonna curl our thumb hose around into here. That way we can put our quick couplers straight out the front for any attachments. So let's go ahead and get these hoses in. Okay, we've got it bolted on. We've got our main supply into here. Make sure you tighten down the first fitting here and then tighten down the hose. That way you've got the swivel action that you need. You might need to break free this thumb cylinder line. That way this can pivot and you can wrap this up behind, keep it nice and tucked and right into the top. And in this orientation, we've got flow to the thumb. Okay, here we're gonna install our G1 half quick coupler. Uh, very nice quality. And um, it will take some additional adapters to make it work uh, in this setup. Here's what we got. G1 half, G1 half, both with a seal face. That side will go into our block. And then a G1 half with a seal to go here. But this side is a G1 half for our hose to go on the end of our attachment. So with our G1 half seal adapter in there, we can thread this in. Be sure to tighten that. And then on our other end, we'll put our hose face, the flare face pointing out with a seal face going in. Now our attachment hose is ready to connect. And there we go, I think we got everything wrapped up on the 42. We'll add the three-way valve on the other side the same way we did here. And just as a recap, well, we've got our main supply in here. This is our case drain line that we did the install on. I've just got it zip tied here. We got a 3 8 quick coupler for our case drain line, which in this case runs through our mulcher. And then now we've got our large lines here running from the mulch with a nice G1 half quick connector. Everything's nice and tight. Make sure you tighten all your fittings. There are several there as you got a lot of stack up on all the adapters. And overall, we got a really pretty clean install of a case drain line on a Kimron XH42. And back to our 26, just to recap, we ran our case drain line all the way down. We've already got a three-way valve on our 26. You can check out one of the other videos for how to get that installed. And then now our case drain line has, um, also has a 3 8 quick coupler. And this line will go to our attachment and we don't have it hooked up right now. You can check out the flail mower in a different video. Uh, but this primarily shows how to get the drain line installed. So we got this all done today without any specialty tools, just some cordless hand tools drill, wrenches, channel locks, things like that. Um, if you got a drill press, that uh, might uh, go a little bit quicker, but you can hand drill the brackets and adapters that we've looked at. So we've got our line ran back. We will uh, tidy up our hoses, zip tie them tight, make sure nothing is loose. We're moving around, and I think we should be good to go. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and for more videos and all information about Kimron and Digger Source, you can check out parsleyequipment.com and diggersource.com.